Hello beautiful souls. A real quick one today on the topic of sovereignty and uh, anybody who's interested in, in, you know, claiming your sovereignty is this, this emotion of resentment. And it was just something that was called my attention to this morning. Um, it, resentment is actually one of the most toxic emotions out there and I think it's, it's really useful though because it can be a real useful heads up. Anytime you're feeling resentment within yourself, that's just an indication that you're actually not standing in your truth um, because resentment is this um, feeling of being torn between some kind of an obligation or something and your truth, right? Um, and so it's really easy. Like I spent years and years stewing in resentment. <laughs> it's really bad news, right? Um, so if, it, if you do notice it coming up, um, just look at it as an ally, right? This is something that's pointing to you that there is something that you're in your circumstance that is not aligned with your own truth. And we may not even be aware sometimes of what that is, or maybe we're very aware and, you know, it's been something that we haven't been willing to address. Okay, so it's just an indication. It's like where... Where am I being dishonest with myself and with and or with others? Okay, and where do I need to actually speak up for myself to set my boundaries, right? Um, and there, I'd say the most, the majority anymore, uh, you know, uh, if you're feeling resentment, it's going to be some situation that, you know, really that you do have control over, right? And we can always choose our freedom, right? It's always a free will choice. It may not be something that you, I mean, usually it's something that we haven't been willing to um, address, haven't been willing to stand up for ourselves, um, but it's going to keep going and going until you actually, you know, the, the, the reason it's showing up is that it's just, you know, it's asking you to stand in your truth, right? So thinking about that anytime that you're feeling resentment or, you know, maybe somebody else around you is expressing resentment, okay? Um, there are times where there are certain, you know, people that are in circumstances, I'd say overt slavery would be one, um, that kind of thing where, you know, you actually haven't, it, it's, it can be really, really difficult to be in your truth, right? In that sense, it's, uh, I'd, I'd be looking at, well, sometimes our souls ask for certain experiences in order for us to advance and to learn, right? So always looking at, okay, where can I be in my truth? In, in whatever circumstance it is, even if it's something that, you know, maybe calls for resentment, but the resentment itself is, is always going to be a toxic emotion. So how can you, you know, no, no matter what circumstance you're in, um, usually anymore, you're going to be in a circumstance that you actually can do have the choice, right? Even if it's one that you've been avoiding to step into your truth, if it's something, you know, and to actually change your circumstances. If it's something that you really can't change your circumstances, then it's an invitation, got a squirrel or something over there, um, invitation to go within and change your outlook or change the way, you know, just give it up to spirit, whatever it is that you need to do. But to address that resentment, that's how you take your freedom, your sovereignty back.